What's up everybody, I'm Zach and welcome back to Aerial Salt. Today's one that I've been planning for quite some time. It's can you use one stick and a tree stand? Uh, this is something that really intrigued me. Uh, is it something you want to do? Uh, is it possible? What are the options? If it is possible, what are the things you may need? Uh, you know, what's it going to come out to be weight wise? All that. We're going to cover everything in the realm of one sticking with a tree stand today. I sure do appreciate you tuning in, and if you don't mind, please go below and hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, I mean, I, you know, there's so much to this. Uh, can it be done? That was the, you know, the first question. Yes, it can. It's actually pretty nice to do, but if you're going to be doing this, you're going to be using some type of saddle setup to climb. Uh, there are some hybrid saddle setups. You're either going to be hunting it strictly as a tree stand or as a hybrid so you're using a saddle and you're facing the tree still and you can sometimes turn around and sit on the seat. With that being said, let's start with the stands themselves. Uh, I think that you're probably either going to go with something like the Hush from Out on a Limb or the Lone Wolf Custom Gear .5. Uh, to me, uh, they're in the right size range for what you're wanting to do here. Because you are going to have to move quite a bit in the tree, you're going to have to turn, tilt, things like that. Uh, the small stand is going to help you do those things to be able to move and make your moves when you're climbing. And the second thing, I mean, that you know you can't go without is if you're going to one stick climb, is you got to have a one stick. Now, this is my personal preference. I think that you could do this without a platform on top. Uh, it would make it a little bit lighter. Uh, it's not that much lighter. It will make it a little more compact, but this is what works for me because it makes it easier for me to hang a stand with that platform. I can stand up on it. I feel more secure on it. So it's more of a comfort thing for me. You're also gonna need something with some good standoffs on it, some deep standoffs. Uh, that's gonna make hanging the stand and stuff a lot easier. Uh, you could probably do it with less. I just don't prefer it. Once again, that's something that is going to be a comfort thing. And then you're going to need an aider on the bottom of the stick. Uh, that would be either be a three-step like I use, or you could use a two-step uh, like a lot of people use. But then you're going to want a cam cleat. I just don't think there's any other way to do it outside the cam cleat that makes sense. So now that we have the stand and the stick covered, uh, let's talk about what kind of harness options you're going to want and or need. And like I said, uh, you know, most people who are going to be doing this are doing this as a hybrid setup. Uh, some people will do it strictly to tree stand hunt. Uh, with that being said, there's going to be some different wants or needs as far as what kind of harness that you want and or prefer. Uh, there's the new Trophy Line Venatic. It's very compact, very small, very light. Uh, somebody who's, you know, wanting to hunt out of a saddle and they're a hybrid hunter this is probably a great fit uh, you can pack it in it's very easy uh, you can wear it in i mean it feels like air when it's on this is a great option then there are several options that are for hunting out of a stand like that's that's what they were made for and you're going to have such as the tx5 minimalist which this is my preference so if i'm stand hunting and i'm not wanting to saddle hunt i'm just going to sit in the stand uh, I will probably wear my minimalist. And then there's another option from XOP. Now, if you strictly want a tree stand hunt and you don't want the front hookup of a saddle while you're hunting from the stand, instead of carrying two different harnesses, what you could do is you could wear this hybrid harness from XOP so you could climb just like wearing a saddle. It has lime and loops, it has a saddle seat, it has everything you need, but it also has a back tether and a five point harness system so this is a great option if you don't want that front hookup but if i'm going to saddle hunt this is a great option if i'm okay with the front hookup the tx5 minimalist is a great option and if you want to just climb with the use of a saddle but hunt with the use of a five point harness that's where the xop comes into play it works great for that Okay, and this is where you're going to have to start thinking about your specific setup. What do you need? Some people are going to run a pouch like this on the bottom of the seat, but when you do that, you can see that kind of does take away the feature of this stand standing up that I know some people like. So um, you can run something on there, you can run your rappel rope, whatever. 
Uh, or you can run a pack, or that and a pack. But what you're gonna run into whenever you use this pack, you're gonna have to have a pack that is offered by TX5, Backwoods Mobile Gear, um, Lone Wolf Custom Gear has the Wolf Pack. Uh, and what those do is they're going to allow you to secure the pack to the stand really well. There are other ways to do it, but you're gonna have to carry some other stuff. So like in this case, if I just hooked that on there or I used a bungee or whatever, when I went to turn sideways or reach down to grab my stick, my pack is gonna be very sloppy on there. So it does need some securement straps. You could use your strap here and cinch that down. And even then, this pack's still kind of sloppy. But if you're gonna do this, another thing you have to think about is where you're gonna carry your stick. So if you weren't carrying the big pack and you were carrying the the small under the seat pack, your stick is gonna sit right up here next to your back, which is gonna be really nice and easy to carry. If you're carrying it like this, it's gonna put the weight farther from your back, even though it's, you know, four pounds, whatever, um, you know, it's still a little bit of extra added weight farther from your back, which does make it hard to carry or harder to carry. So that's something to consider as well. All right, and one other pack option that seems to be the best for me. You're welcome to do whatever you want. But I know whenever I used a climber for years, I used this HS Strut Turkey Vest. And what I like about it is it doesn't have a lot of specific uh, pockets for turkey hunting. Uh, there's just a lot of big pockets uh, there on this side or on both sides. You're going to have this flat pocket, which is a very large pocket. And then you're going to have a zippered pocket that almost mirrors the size of that pocket. And a few compartments on the inside to maybe stuff some gloves, a mask things like that and the same thing over here like I said there's another big pocket and a big interior zip pocket you have some inner pockets in here if you need to use them and what I like about this is it keeps everything right in front of me so that when I'm walking to the stand I don't have to take anything off my back to uh, access maybe another flashlight or some batteries for my flashlight something like that if I carry those in uh, you know I have my repel kit here I won't wear this while I'm in the tree, but I will wear it on the way to, from, and up. And, you know, uh, this repel kit's not very big, all things considered. And if I were to roll this up nice and neat, I could get this in here really easy. So since we're doing it for the video purposes, we'll just shove it in there. As you can see, so it would carry my entire repel rope in that one pocket, which is pretty nice and convenient. So now I've reduced the need for having a pack on my back. So now I only have this and my stick. I could take my tether and have my tether here in my other side. So they're separated, easy to get to, still have everything I need and nothing is extra added on my back. So I don't have to worry about securing a pack on here, having a pack that secures here. Okay, and we're talking about pack options still. So if you have the pack up under the seat, and that's got everything that you need to carry, that's great. Then you can wear the stand up uh, with you if you want to. You can pull it up into the tree, which I don't recommend. It ends up uh, banging off things that you don't want to. Or, you know, you have a pack like this. What you're gonna do in this case is, is if you carry them both up the tree, let's say that you're able to secure it on there and you want to carry them both up the tree. Um, what you're gonna run into there is you're gonna have to do something with your pack before you hang your stand. So in that case, you might have a gear hook or whatever that you're able to throw on a tree and then you can hang your stand for a second, remove your pack, hang your pack on another hook and then hang your stand. I think that's really complicated. It's not the way I do it. Uh, even if I were gonna use a pack like this, the best way is gonna be to leave the pack on the ground with your bow or gun, climb up with your stand, and when you hang your stand, you're gonna have you know, whatever attaches to your bow rope. Uh, you could attach your bow and your bag to the same rope and pull them up. So that's why I decided if I'm going to use a stand, pack like that is not gonna be in the game for me. A pack like this is just too small for me. No guys who can use them, that's all they'll use. 
more power to them. But I like to carry in my jacket and things like that. So I'll have a jacket strapped to the stand, um, you know, and I'll get dressed in the stand if I can do that. That's why I prefer this turkey vest. All right, guys, now I'm going to do a climb. I'll be honest with you, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. But for the people who say, oh, that's loud, uh, there's no way you can do that efficiently, whatever, I'll put a real-time climb directly after the video. So you can stay after the video, fast forward to the end of the video, whatever you want to do. I'll show you that it's not that loud and it's still pretty efficient. But I'm suited up just like I'd be if I were going to the tree. Uh, we're going to do it just like I would. And instead of me trying to talk to the camera, I'll probably have some voiceover explaining a little bit of what I do. Anyway, so let's go ahead. Okay, the first thing I do whenever I get to the trees, I'm going to take the stand off and get my stick off. That's the only thing I'm getting off the stand because everything else is in the vest. I'm going to take my weapon. I always lay it down on my right side, whether it be the gun or a bow. I'm going to get my aider and everything untangled, throw my stick up about as high as I can. Uh, in the past, I measured that it ends up getting about 7 foot 8 to 10 inches. So, getting nearly 8 foot when I first move. Now I'm taking my rope, or bow rope, that's what I'm hooking to my bow. And I'm also going to hook it to my lineman loop. On the TX5 Minimalist, you have a saddle seat that stays up. You only do your web buttons, and that's what you saw me doing there. Uh, I do not connect connect my tether on my initial climb. So what I'm currently doing is putting my tether up around my shoulders, and then I'm going to climb. And you'll see here, I don't like to stand up there without being tied off. So what I'll do is I'll take a seat on that little top platform. Then I'm going to attach my tether. And once I get to the top of the tether about head high, maybe a little bit farther, I'll reach down and move my stick. I like to swing off to the right side of the tree rather than trapping my stick up under the tether. That's just preferably what works for me. In this one instance, I actually did not get the stick high enough to need my three-step aider. I only had to use the second step. Now I'm going to move up and just rinse and repeat. Sit on the top, move the tether, and do it again. Right, I know that that ladder platform that you see in the background there, it's about um, 17 to 18 foot. I also have this tree marked that when my head hits a branch up here uh, that you can see slightly above my head there, that my feet are anywhere from 18 to 20 foot usually, uh, depending on how I set up. You'll have to forgive my neighbor here. You decided to start cutting stuff in the middle of the video. But so basically the bottom or the top of my platform there where my feet are, I'm guessing to be 17 to 18 foot. Uh, so now it'll be time for me to hang the stand. Just because I'm new at this, um, or at least having those ropes and stuff in the way, uh, I had a little bit of trouble here. 
uh, nothing that will be trouble in the future. It's just I didn't give my, myself enough space in between the tree. But uh, once I got the stand passed back over to my left hand, or my left hand side, it ended up going pretty smoothly. Then I step over in the stand, you're gonna see me here, and I'm trying to adjust my tether height and length so that whenever I see it, it's tight in the stand. You need to keep in mind that anytime you're using these front hookup harnesses, they are not meant to fall in. They are a fall prevention system, not a uh, fall reduction system. So unlike when you fall on a five point harness, um, that's meant for you to fall and keep you from hitting the ground. Uh, these things need to be kept tight and keep you from falling. But at this point, uh, the video is kind of running long. Uh, the only thing I have to do now is to come down. So we've sped it way up, and I'm just going to come down and hit the ground. All right, guys, so that's it for one sticking with a tree stand. So to answer the questions, is it doable? Uh, what are your options? I think I give you all that. I think the one question I haven't really answered is weight-wise, is it worth it? Uh, I think there are sticks out there that can be had, you know, nowadays that are one pound a piece. Uh, they will make it easier, but you won't get as high. So I think there's certain things to be determined here. Like is every tree that you're going to walk up to climber friendly? If so, for about four more pounds, you can probably carry them on with a salt climber. It's a small climber. It's difficult to climb with for some people. Um, you know, uh, putting up your rappel stuff seems a lot easier than packing up three, four sticks at the end of the night for me myself. Um, also, uh, I feel like I can get in more trees this way than I can with a climber but I get in less trees than I can with maybe uh, what sticks I can carry. So if I'm hunting in a place that has a lot of crooked trees, uh, I think I could carry sticks and be just as efficient because you don't have to hunt as high either. Uh, with that being said, um, around here for where I hunt, it seems like a really good option, uh, especially if you kind of have saddle hunted, you enjoy the climbing part of saddle hunting, but maybe not so much the hunting part of saddle hunting, uh, you know, facing the tree. Uh, me, I hunted from a climber for 20 years. It, it's it's difficult, even though I've been doing this for three years, it's difficult facing the tree. It's just not something that I'm ever gonna feel like I'm used to. So sometimes, or in certain situations, because of the places that I picked over the years to match facing away from the tree, you know, it might be beneficial to still use a tree stand. And, you know, that's just my opinion on it. I think there's a lot of ways to go round and round here. But, uh, you know, you're going to have to make that decision yourself. But the answer to it is, is, yes, it's doable. Yes, it can be efficient. I mean, it's pretty warm out here. Yeah, I'm sweating. But it's not too bad. So, anyways, if you don't mind, please go below. Hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time.